it's really amazing when a businessman and his wife, a person totally committed to the business and, and being involved in that every day, still has the time and takes the time to remember those folks who have no or very few resources and then actually responds and does something about it personally. That was really the legacy of, of Ann and Henry. One of Judy's incredible strengths is that she can bring people together who didn't even know that they were working toward the same goal. Judy's the last person who would be aware of her impact. She doesn't think that way because of your humility. Having Judy Kishner and Ruth Nelson chair the capital campaign that built what we know today as the center has absolutely been instrumental. So what that means to us is being able to serve some of the most vulnerable community citizens that we have that really have nowhere else to turn, may have no other family to turn to. And so the center really does become their home. Judy has been one is, uh, of course, uh, her and her family, the foundation there, have been involved in addressing the needs of our homeless population for many, many years. and taken leadership of not only providing funding and ideas, but also encouraging others to do so. And I think one of the things that I love uh, about Judy is she takes that very personal. And she has a real personal connection to the people that we serve. And sometimes she even says, coming into the center, it feels like coming home to her because those individuals are a part of her heart and a part of her history. It really represented that in Judy, the way she lives her life, uh, and you know that we're all the same. That some of us have uh, maybe more opportunities, more resources, but if you give other people uh, enough resources, they'll thrive, and it raises the quality of life for all of us. I think when you start with the legacy of uh, Anne and Henry and all that they did in their lifetime, and then leaving you know huge resources to the community upon their death. And then you add the kind of the quiet, compassionate commitment that Judy has. Um, and, and so we really have a chance to work with the populations in Tulsa that struggle to survive well. These are the folks who are working full time but still can't afford decent, affordable housing, still can't feed their kids. Uh, on, on their income. So working on expanding uh, resources for hunger has been an incredible. Working to try to provide uh, housing in a, in a safe and decent neighborhood. Uh, and then working on with folks who have mental illness. And what the Zero Foundation has done recently in acquiring that property, the Dollar Thrifty property, is absolutely extraordinary and it brings together many agencies that they've been supporting over the years. And I think there's gonna be an extraordinary synergy that there wouldn't have been without Judy's vision. So one of my most special memories of working with Judy has, has really been within the last few years as we were looking to grow our organization even more, take it to the next level, talk about another building campaign, um, I was very fearful of that. It, it's the first time I've been involved in a major capital campaign of this nature and wasn't quite sure of my own confidence. And having repeated conversations with Judy, um, she allowed me to see myself in a different way and um, allowed me to maybe see myself from how she sees me or other individuals, donors in the community, um, see me and the center and that this is the right time to do it. You are the right person to lead this campaign. And more importantly, we're behind you. I think she has a keen understanding of where real needs are and seeks out organizations who can fill them and what is unique about what the Zero Foundation is doing is that it helps organizations build capacity, not just fundraising capacity, but management and vision capacity. Her legacy, I think, will be that, you know, I hear particularly 
uh, some of the young women that I work with, uh, and I've heard them say, I want to be Judy Kishner when I grow up. That's about how she handles herself, how um, her humility, her dignity, her concern for others, her enjoyment of getting to know people by their first names and talking to them and asking about their husbands or wives or families or kids or grandkids. And that's just how she rolls. And uh, I think that's going to be, be one of her le legacies that we all want to be uh, like Judy. And, uh, you know, and she's certainly a, a role model for all of us to, to emulate. It's really kind of an amazing legacy because it's multi-generational and will continue to be uh, with the, the, you know, the three generations that have been directly involved with the foundation. And I'm sure it will go much further than that in really making Tulsa uh, a, a shining light for, for folks who have very little count on every day, there's still that chance for a better life. And I think that's really what the legacy of the foundation and Judy's leadership is all about. No, I, Judy is just, and, and I've told her this to her face, I have so enjoyed seeing her blossom into someone who is every bit as extraordinary as her parents were. 